A career high for that young man. Two goals this afternoon for the first time. Swan. Well, the Danes, I'll give you that. The Danes have got the market cornered in terms of the best tattooed player in the competition. Here's Pendlebury. They've got the collective noun wrong now, I think, as it goes down towards half forward. Judd once more after the spill from Beams. Fires the hand pass across towards Simpson. Simpson goes to half forward. Garlet, still Garlet. Over the football, Pendlebury turns into Garlet. Stolen off his boot by Houlihan. Judd, a tired Judd. Hand passes out wide. Simpson away on his left boot. Doesn't pull it back far enough. Might be a telling factor in the game. Carlton coming off a six-day break, a really intense game against Geelong last Monday. Collingwood with that extra day. You never know how that plays out in really intense games like this one we're seeing today. Little one-two between Shaw and Swan. Shaw then drives for distance to the outer side. Almost the mark that Dawes, two nimble Dawes. He's had a big afternoon, although blunted a little bit in this turn. Johnson across the Dawes. Fancies himself in this situation. Kicks it back towards the wing. Gibbs the only man there. Carlton on the move now. Gibbs runs down towards half forward. Searching kick. Deep into attack. Some indecision down there. It was missed by Swan. Spills across towards Shaw. Shaw drives to the other side. Oh, how about that? The big Mac truck. Doors, eyes only for the football, took the mark. Russell oh, goes back, mark. takes the mark and goes short to McLean. He's been good, Spots Russell. him now. He's been in terrific form, Russell, in recent weeks. Fine. Gibbs on the lead. Good mark to Yaron. Strong hands. Yaron wants a tanner to come, but there's nobody back in the square. Don't know about that. That was a mess. Why would you beckon him? And the only man running to the goal square was a Collingwood player. Here it is here. Have a look at this. Eyes on it. Yep. He knew he was probably half a step late there. Johnson punches the kick out. Tuvies away. In front of the great southern stand. Goes down towards half forward. Just over the head of Dawes. Bauer comes up. Right on the boundary line to White. Dawes has to work. Bauer's got the football. Gibbs now. Good work, Tom. There goes the kick inside the forward 50. Getting back is Johnson. How about this? Compare this to Friday, ladies and gentlemen. The ball going from end to end. Swan gives it across to Pendlebury. Pendlebury towards half forward. Cloak's got it now. Surging back is Beams. Beams wants it short. Ball goes in that direction. Beautiful kick. Good hard running. Dane Beams up in a trice. Short one. Awkward one for side bottom. Bounces off his body. Pendlebury's got it. Hand passes across to Harry O'Brien. O'Brien will bring the roof down. And there isn't one. <laughs> Harry O'Brien kicks the goal. That's their 10th individual goal kicker, Tom. And they've got... Siren's just gone as well. That is a wonderful finish for Collingwood. The last five minutes there, they just got hold of the game. A little bit of push and shove too in the middle. Bit of feeling here. Yeah. All the Feel early the spot out. Lost a Stay remarkable Mick. game. Stay back, Mick. Just terrific. What an advertisement for Aussie rules the last 15 minutes there were. Collingwood 17 8, 110. Carlton 13 5, 83. This is Sunday Football. So this is not over. Uh, not the way. Carlton. Sorry, Dan, not the way Carlton can string them together, too. That's right. Got eight of ten there, six straight at one stage when they were really running hot. It's about whether they can push on from here, though, physically. It's all about one two. Final term of the MCG. Fraser does well, gets his own ball, kicks inside the forward 50, fisted away by Jamison. Hitting the ball hard was Thomas. Both players didn't know where it had gone. Thomas knows where that has gone. Out of bounds. I reckon uh, Brett Ratton would have said to Jacobs, make sure you win the first contest. And to see Josh Fraser clear the ball so easily, I reckon uh, he wouldn't have been too happy with that. This is a statement very early yep. on in the quarter. So where's Cruiser? Chris, he started Chris, on the bench, did he? Is he out there? No, he's out there. He's gone forward. That's okay. That's okay. Yep. 
He's going to say strange not to have him on the ground. Well, he hasn't had a kick today yet, Dennis. He's only had the eight handballs, so far from his best. Get him off the ground. <laughs> Henderson in trouble. That's He's holding gone. the ball. The tempo has found him out this yeah. afternoon. Hand pass comes across from Maxwell. Doors almost too much time. He's at the post. He's looked a bit vulnerable at times, Henderson. I think he was struggling up forward. Swing down back. Good size to play on doors. But, uh, you know, he's made some uh, fundamental mistakes in the back 50. Speaking of which, see, I like side bottom as a player too. Shane, Wellington. Smitty Cruiser. No kicks. No kicks as yet. Mm -hmm. He only needs to kick four or five in the last quarter. That would be handy. It'd be lovely. Judd. Gibbs provided you barrack for Carlton. Mm. Judd again, by example. Nothing one balance through the MCG circle. Still going. Oh, good run too. Staying with him every step of the way was Bauer. He runs to the 50. He's gone a long way, Bauer. Takes something off this Satanta. Dropped the mug. He's got wonderful balance though. Still going, Satanta. Slaps it back towards Cruiser. A hand pass. Fumble from Houlihan. Standing his ground was the Collingwood skipper. It comes across to Brown. It was well played out there by Tooby. The ball goes towards the other side. Cloak battles back with Jamison. Cloak to his own advantage. Keeps it alive. At close quarters, hammers it to side bottom. And side bottom runs it across the boundary. I thought Bauer could have had a shot there. He was running. Yeah. He was only 50 metres out. He was on his non preferred, but still put it up there. Get it into the dangerous spot, which is 15 metres out from goal. He might have been breathless in Seattle. Let's throw it in. Reaching over the top, knocked down by Jacobs. Look at this. That's terrific. I'm trapped in there, fellas. What about Chris no, no, Judd? He's had, had 15 shot. contested possessions today. Down. Down, please. Not bad out of his 31. No easy one. And he's also got a bloke hanging off him every time he goes down. Yeah. Just remarkable willpower. The champions have got that, of course. Wellingham could be a champion one day as well. Gets a hand pass off. Beautifully done. The cap up along the boundary. There goes the kick from Davis. There goes the kick from Davis. Across the face out of bounds on the fall. Now, I'm not sure that Medhurst... He's pleased with that. No, I don't think anyone would be pleased except no. for Leon. I reckon Bucks will give him a cook at, uh, after the match and Mick will be saying, that ain't Collingwood. Good line for Bucks. Ego is not your amigo. <laughs> Bauer comes away. Running up the middle of the ground. Gibbs inside the centre square. As a result of Davis taking that shot, here's a chance for Carlton at the other end. Cruiser keeps it in Good front. Murphy. Oh, Halpin spots Murphy. Oh, the kick is a bit long. Murphy stayed on his feet, though, over the top. Bits, still bits, still bits. <laughs> Three for him. Great goal by Eddie Betts. The little fella got the goal that they needed at the start of this last quarter. They're going to be the guys that can win it for them. Those three amigos in the forward line. Just a really good play here by Murphy, not to lose his his footing. Yep. Didn't get the bounce that Betts would have liked, but um, oh well. well, too easy to grab it. Interesting, Eddie Betts didn't have a kick in the first half, and he's finished uh, finishing with three goals. A fantastic contribution. Talking about the three amigos, I think there was a fourth amigo at the other end. He helped as much as anybody. Leon, what was he thinking in the pocket? Yeah, it's very hard to kick a banana from 50 metres out. Because mm. it swings back the other way and ends up becoming a straight kick. He's going a bit quick for me. Wellingham trying to back out. Claimed by Carrazzo. So the margin is back now to 22 points. What about the duel between O'Brien and Betts, Tom? Yeah, well, I think, uh, you know, Eddie Betts didn't have the greatest of first half. He's got three second oh. half. Oh, here we go. We'll get back to that one, Ox. Judd storming down towards half forward, pushed as he kicked. Reed, well, he bet against himself there. He dived at the football, didn't take the mark. Now he's got a problem. O'Brien, head down, tackled by Satanta. Down he goes, and the, the umpire will ball it up. Just Backley on the O'Brien. Are you Harry? O'Brien, Betts. Uh, it's been a really, really tight battle. Betts is getting the goals on the score now. And Collingwood really lacking in O'Brien's oh. defensive run and defensive drive. Thomas tracks it towards the boundary line. Good spot for it as far as Collingwood are concerned. Deep to the boundary and then out of bounds. He's had uh, a very good start of the season as well, Dale Thomas. I think he's improved. Uh, he came into this season under a lot of speculation and uh, he's lived up to that high draft pick that he went some years ago. Fraser knocks it down. 